Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, you will create more complex 3D bodies using advancing 3D modeling skills. So, you will use Revolve to create this object here, and you will use Loft to create this object here, and finally, you will use the Sweep to create this object here. So, let's get started. On LMS, go to your course map and go to LP6. And then here you will find the student book and the workbook. And finally here uh, is where you need to submit the activities. Okay, so let's download the activities first. Click on here. And let's open the student book. So let's start with section 3, Advancing 3D Modeling Skills. The key vocabulary here. So we will use three features as explained before, Revolve, Loft, and Sweep. Let's go to Google Translate, Revolve. So what does Revolve mean? As you can see, uh, it means that you have a rounded shape or to rotate. Then Loft. What does loft mean? The nearest def definition of loft is a room or a space directly under the roof of a house or other building. Then finally, the sweep. There are different uh, meaning. Uh, move swiftly and smoothly. So now let's start with the revolve feature. We have to create this object using Fusion 360. So what is this object here? This object is a pulley. What is pulley? Let's go to Google Translate. So pulley is, is a wheel on an axle or shaft that is designed to support a movement. So the first step, let's go to Fusion and create a sketch. So you can click on here, create sketch if you have the new version. If you have the old version, you just need to go to sketch here. Okay. Then you need to choose the plane. In this case, you choose this plane. Click here. Then start sketching. You have two options here. Whether you can go and draw this object here using the line. Or, in this case, you can choose uh, a text that can give you the same feature here. So when you have a one look here, you can tell that if you write a number one, it will be easier for you. So you can go here and go to create and then go to text and then click here. Give it one click. When you click, you will find a new window is open to you. So if it's closed, you just open it like this, okay? Inside here, you need to write the text you want. So you can write number one, okay? And then give it uh, the height, make it 100, so it will be very big. And here you can move it up and down, okay? So as you can see, this number one uh, doesn't have the same feature as the one here. So you need a one with this line here. So to, to have it, you just change the font, go to the last here, make sure that you go to the last, and then click on Wide Latin. When you click on Wide Latin, as you can see, there is a line now becoming here. Then you move this one, make sure that when you move the text, make sure it's not touching this line here, the green line here. Okay, then click on OK. Now I have the text and this is the line where we need to create the revolve feature. Now click on finish sketch. Now go to create and then revolve. Okay, when you click on revolve, you will have this new window. In this new window here, the profile, you need to select this one as a profile. And then the second step here is the axis. The axis, you just click on this axis here. 
and then click on enter so that's it so as you can see here this is the uh, result here this is our pulley and you can uh, draw or build your own since there are many uh, types and shapes for the pulley now let's do the loft feature here so what is the loft feature a loft is a transitional profile between two different sketches it's something related to uh, bottom and top so we need to do this shape here okay so how to do so let's go and create a sketch with a hexagon shape so let's go there now we need to click on new design to create a new design then go to create and then in this case you need to start from from this plane okay make sure when or what plane you this you choose now we will choose this plane then go to create polygon then this first option go here in the middle and give it one click and then go like this then give it a one uh, number so what is the number here it's as per the, the book it is 100 okay and then click on tab so when you click on tab on keyboard you move to to, to the other input and the other input you just make it six because you need to build a hexagon then click on enter so as you can see here this is our hexagon here then uh, click on create sketch click on home view so we can see our uh, hexagon now go to construct okay and then click on offset plane we need to create offset plane for this object so we can create another sketch there so give it a one click here and this offset should be as per the book should be uh, 150 millimeter so the height should be 150 millimeter and click on 150 millimeter so as you can see I, I, wrote, I wrote the 150 here in this input then I click on enter now see from the home view so this offset plane create a, a plane that we can draw another sketch on it okay then what is the next step here is to create another hexagon with 60 uh, uh, millimeter from the radius here so let's go to fusion and then let's create another sketch in this case you make sure that you are sketching in the new plane here so click here and then draw your uh, second polygon here click there again from the middle give it one click and then it should be six zero right and then click on tab tab and then in the second input you have to uh, put 12 so because it's 12 side okay and then click on enter in the keyboard so as you can see here now you have two shape but from this top view you can see that each one inside the other right but in reality if you uh, click on the home view here you can see that this one is on top of this one here now click on finish sketching go to create and then click on loft here you need to add the profile click on add so in loft you need to have two profile at least to do the loft feature okay in this case we have this one and so when i give it one click it become blue here okay and and see it's added here and the other one is here so that's it now when i add both it did the loft feature now i click on ok and that's it now let's do the third and the final object here using the sweep feature 
So what is the sweep feature? A sweep feature allows us to sweep a profile sketch along a separate sketch path. So now we need to do this object here. What is the first step here? We need to create a sketch and we need to sketch a octagon with eight sides here and the radius uh, here is 25 uh, millimeter so let's go there go to new design click on create a sketch and in this case because this is the base so we need to select this plane the red blue one click on here and then go to create polygon first option one click in the middle then 25 here and then click on tab okay and then in this case we need to make an octagon so it should be eight side so write eight here and then enter okay so this is our first sketch or our first profile now you need to create another sketch for the path for this one click on finish sketch and click on sketch again in this case you need to click on this side because this plane is the right side or the side of this base here so click on this one here here you need to create the path so go to create arc three point arc and then start from the middle here from the center here and then you start drawing right here you need to write one one zero as per the book sizes then give it double click okay and then when you give it double click you can draw the arc as per you want give it another click here then if you want to change the sizes you just click on D letter D from the keyboard so you can click on D from the keyboard or go to sketch dimension or right click and go to sketch dimension so here first of all go click one click here and then another click here and then go to the side then give it another click here write 110 then enter now take one click on the arc and one click on the middle of this line then there will be inputs here you need to write 100 as per the book dimension and then finally one click here and one click in the center but this time don't go here on the side no this time go up so when you go up give it another click there will be inputs here you write four zero and then enter click on finish sketch go to the home view and then go to create sweep here you need to click on the profile select the profile see select so select here give it one click and then go to the path select the path so this is the path here and here we go that's it click on ok and this is our third object using the sweep feature so now take a print screen for the three pictures put them in one presentation and then upload this picture here how to do so take a print screen Go to a new presentation and then paste it here, make it smaller So just as a reminder for the revolve here you need a sketch, a profile and access a one access and here you need to have two sketches or two profile here you need to have one sketches or profile and one path here. so that's it take a screenshot upload this picture here good luck